Hello my dear students, how are you? I hope you all are fine. Welcome back after the summer break. Myself, Chavi Chaudhary. I'm teaching you science. Today we will start lesson number four. I think you all have seen lesson one, two, three videos. Go through it and now let's get it started. Lesson number four. Okay, lesson number four, name of the lesson, insect. As you can see here, so many pictures of insects are here. Okay, can you identify these? Yes. In this video, we will read about common insects, body parts of the insects, life cycle of a butterfly and at last we will do the activity and the exercises. These are the contents. In this video we will read about all these one by one. Okay, now this is the warm up exercises. What is it? What is it? Can you see this picture? Yes, it is an insect. Where do you find these type of insects? You know very well some insects you can see in your garden and some in your houses. Do they live as single or in groups? Some insects live as single and some of the insects live in groups. We will read next one common insects okay here are some pictures of the common insects you have already seen in your houses they are the tiny animals with six legs how many legs they are having six they form the largest group of living organism on the earth some insects creep or crawl on their legs but most of them have wings to fly Example, cockroaches, ants, mosquitoes, houseflies, termites, these all are found. Some insects such as like butterflies, as you can see in the picture, moth, wasp, bee, ladybirds, grasshoppers, these all you can find outside your home. So we can find that some insects you can see inside the home and some of the insects you can find in the garden where you can play and where you can go to walk okay here and there you can see some common insects some more common insects are also there so you can see the picture of that you are i think you all are having the book so please read and go through the lesson again and again okay next one body parts of an insect most of the insects have common body parts their body is divided into three body parts how many body parts three body parts and they are first is head second is thorax third is abdomen okay these three parts as you can see in the picture head is the front part of the body which is round and that one is the smallest part of the body it has one pair of eyes a pair of antenna and a mouth okay that means in head part three things are there one pair of eyes, one pair of antenna and a mouth. And you can see so many parts there. Okay. Head is there, thorax is there, abdomen is there. Okay. Now we will read one by one. Next one, next part of the insect is thorax. Thorax is the middle part of the body. As you can see, it is marked also there. This part of the body bears three pair of legs and one or two pair of wings 
बिहाइंड द थॉरेक्स इज द एबडोमन ओके नेक्स्ट आफ्टर थॉरेक्स वॉट विल कम एबडोमन इट इज द लार्जेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ द इंसेक्ट बॉडी सम इंसेक्ट हैव स्टिंगर्स एट द बैक ऑफ देयर एबडोमन बट सम आर हैविंग द स्मॉल टाइप्स ऑफ होल्स आर प्रेजेंट स्मॉल होल्स आर प्रेजेंट ऑन इधर साइड ऑफ द एबडोमन दे आर कॉल स्पायरिकल्स ओके इंसेक्ट्स ब्रीथ थ्रू दीज स्पायरिकल्स ओके एज यू नो दैट यू कैन ब्रीथ थ्रू योर नोज सेम वे इंसेक्ट्स ऑल्सो ब्रीथ थ्रू द स्पायरिकल्स एंड स्पायरिकल्स आर द होल्स प्रेजेंट ऑन द body of the insect yes these are spiracles and these are present on abdomen these two parts thorax and abdomen now we will go to the next one life cycle of a butterfly life cycle of a butterfly has how many stages four stages they are which one egg caterpillar pupa and adult as you can see in the picture eggs are present on the leaf okay that stage will go to the next stage this one caterpillar next one pupa and then butterfly okay we will read one by one all the stages of a butterfly okay these all the stages we will read one by one okay children and you have to read the book okay read that lesson again and again first stage the butterfly lays eggs on the leaves each egg hatches into a caterpillar or larva second stage a caterpillar undergoes several changes before becoming an adult it feeds on leaves of mulberry okay third stage a caterpillar grow in size and becomes inactive and cover itself with a protective layer as you can see in the picture that stage is called pupa the protective layer is called cocoon and the fourth and the last stage of the butterfly is the cocoon breaks after a week and a beautiful butterfly comes out of that cocoon okay that one breaks and a butterfly comes out and again that adult butterfly that gives eggs on the leaves okay as you can see in the picture here is a cycle okay now here is pictures are here for in the first picture you can see here eggs caterpillar pupa and butterfly these are the three four stages of the butterfly and here's in second picture you have to label yourself write the name of that yes life cycle of a butterfly you have to label it okay first one what is it yes egg second one caterpillar now try to do yourself next one metamorphosis okay the process of changes from a young form of an adult that is called metamorphosis so it is a process that changes from young one to an adult insects such as grasshopper and cockroaches have three stages in their life cycle they have three stages but butterfly has four stages a baby cockroach look like an adult cockroach but a smaller in size and does not have wings after molting many times it changes into adult and what is molting it is a process of shedding skin shedding of a skin removing of a skin again and again because they grow that time okay so new skin comes and again they shed the skin this process is called molting as you can see in the picture here are the three stages of 
cockroach and grasshopper all also having grasshoppers are also having yes three stages only butterfly is having four stages okay these are the two different types of process that come in life cycle of insects now here is an interesting fact about grasshoppers we will read one by one grasshopper are important source of protein okay in africa and america the local people eat lactus and grasshoppers okay they eat grasshoppers there second grasshopper has ears they have ears on their bellies third they have powerful jumping legs hmm the hind legs of grasshopper have a special organ okay that's why they can jump easily social insects now we will go to the next topic insects such as termites ants and honey bees they all live in groups as you can see in the picture in all the pictures they live together so they are called social insects features of social insects they work together they have cooperation in groups they reproduce more and more insects okay that's why we call them social insects because they do all the work together okay they live together they move from one place to another place together okay and they are having cooperation habit okay now these are the features of social insects some social insects examples are here one by one we will read about them first one honey bees they build their hives and that is called bee hives and where they make they make on trees the queen bee lays eggs in the hive the worker bee okay that collect food they collect the food and make their honeycomb honey is stored in hive as you can see in the picture and they used as food all the bees work together and stay together as you can see in the picture also here two types of bees are here queen bee and worker bee okay queen bee only they lay eggs okay now next one next social insect is ants they live in an ant hill look their picture all ants live in ant hill like bees ants also work together because they are social insect the worker ant work outside to gather food and protect their ant hill you must have seen a line of ants moving towards the sweet it shows their togetherness and cooperation because they are social insect they also do work together okay worker here also worker and move outside then termites next step termites termites also live in colonies they live in colonies they make their colonies in place such as dam furniture and fallen trees they basically feed on wood they are useful in cleaning forest as they eat dead and decaying trees okay but sometimes they damage the wooden furniture also okay so termites are also social insects okay and they also live in colonies as you can see in the picture now here is 
activity for you. Let's do. Observe the insects that you can see around. Some of them crawl and some can fly. So write the following right there. Next one, let's recall. Write suitable answers for the following. Okay. First one, how many legs do the insects have? How many legs they have? They have six legs. In how many parts the body of an insect is divided? Yes, body of insect is divided into three parts. And which one? Hand, thorax and abdomen. To which part of an insect are the legs attached? Yes, thorax. On what part of an insect are the antenna found? Where antennas are present? Yes, head. Which insect has colorful wings? Butterfly. Good. Now here, label the body parts of an insect. Yes, first one on the upper side, head. That one, antenna, then mouth, then wings, so with next thorax, then legs, eyes, and then abdomen. Okay, here is an insect. You can practice this one. Okay, you have to draw. And you have to label the parts of the insect. Okay. Now, children, you are having the book also. So, try to find the answers and read the lesson again and again. Okay. Okay. We will see you again in the next video. Till then, tata. Bye-bye.